Tales from 4chan. I've, I've made eight of these. Dear fucking Christ. I love beating off way too much. Think of all the porn you haven't watched. You could sit down and jerk off all day for the rest of your life and they would continue to make porn faster than you could shake your stick at it. Look me in the goddamn eyes and tell me the world isn't a beautiful place. Time to tell what happened to me some months ago. B18, never had a girlfriend, thus virgin. Gets bored, go out with friends one night, goes to a party, all right? Sees lots of girls. I see this one girl, shy, cute, and tubby, enough to have low self-esteem. Friend suddenly gone somewhere, don't care. Going in for the kill. Starts to talk with her. Talk for a while, both getting drunk. She asks if I want to go to her house. Okay. We get to her home. She's lost the key and we go in through the window. Parents not home. Gone for the night or something. We start to make out on the couch. She grabs a hold of my arm and takes me back to her parents' bedroom. Somewhat kinky. She drags over her shirt and bra, lays back and begs for cock. Off the virgin train, here I go. I jump on bed. Barely have time to get undressed. Being alpha as fuck. Doing her doggy style while dragging her back. Stuff goes on for five minutes. Sudden noise of car and driveway. Oh no, parents home. If she don't mind. We keep on going, not giving a fuck. They get home, locking up front door. Shit gets intense, but ain't stopping. Both parents walk into their bedroom at the same time. Her mom screams. I keep pounding like not a fuck is given by neither of us. Come on her back, in clear sight of parents. <sighs> My face when I get arrested for dry humping a pillow in a random stranger's house. Being high as fuck. B.O.P. Walk to kitchen. Get water. See shadow. Follow shadow. Look in the bathroom. Look in the mirror. See giant faggot. Spooky. The feeling when my parents got me a flashlight. I don't even know how to respond to this. They've never done anything weird like this ever before. All they said was, We thought it'd come in handy at college. And I was like, Oh, yeah, uh, thanks. And pretended not to know what it was at first. They gave me the receipt in case I wanted to send it back, and that's definitely what I should do in order to discourage them from doing this weird shit in the future. But I want to open this thing and shove my dick in it there so, so fucking bad right now. You don't even understand. Unbeknownst to the MC, his father is working on a super robot to save humanity. One day, his father tells him about his robot and reveals that it's the MC's destiny to pilot it. The robot is actually a golf cart with a handgun resting in the cup holder. MC then proceeds to save the world. As in golf for C! MC in a standoff with the final boss. Suddenly, he gets a call from his father on his prepaid cell phone. Son, Mazengolfer Z has one final weapon that I haven't told you about. Look, in the glove compartment. It's another gun. When you wipe your butt and there's no poo, there, it's a wishing poo. You get to make a wish. Order something from Amazon. Free Prime so I can get it two days later. Here's some knocking at the door and I get really nervous. Look through the people and it's a female deliverer. The witty small talk I prepared all had to be thrown out. I quickly try to think of something to say. I got it. Open the door. Hi! It looks like my mail order bride finally got here. <laughs> she looks... She just... She just looks at me without saying a word like the retard I am. I start to apologize profusely. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sure you have a very tough job and you don't need people like me making it harder. Sign for my package and keep apologizing. Watch her walk all the way back to her truck from the foyer. Immediately canceled Prime and had a sad fap after that. What the fuck was I thinking? Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos. They're also things.